Welcome to Living United. I'm Lori Paquel Stangel, Executive Director for the United Way of the Brown County area. Today we're going to talk a little bit about a new initiative for the United Way, and it's called Project Lunchbox. So I hope some of you have already heard about Project Lunchbox, but if you haven't, um, it's a program that hasn't actually started yet. We're hoping to have it start uh, when the school year begins here in September, October. Um, what is Project Lunchbox? Well, it's a weekend food program for kids. There's a lot of programs around the state and around the country that are weekend food programs for kids. But ours is called Project Lunchbox, where many of those are called a backpack program. Well, if you're familiar with many of the United Way programs that we run, which there are about a handful or so, Project Lunchbox is called Project Lunchbox because it deals with food for the weekends and the United Way already has a backpack program and it is called Stuff the Backpacks and it's a program that supplies school supplies uh, to kids for back to school. But back to Project Lunchbox. So when I started at the United Way as the executive director about a year and a half ago, one of the first things that came up in conversation as I was meeting some of the different people around the community that were involved in nonprofits and in the schools was that there was no weekend food program for kids. I decided to dig a little bit deeper and found that Sleepy Eye, Hanska, Comfrey, and Springfield actually had a weekend food program during the school year for kids, but New Ulm didn't. So why? Was there no need for this program? Well, I quickly found out that, unfortunately, there was a need. But the reason why there was no program is the need was so large that any one nonprofit or church group could take it on. In 2017, over 265 children just in the New Ulm public school system could have qualified for a weekend food program. Now compare that to the 20-some kids in Sleepy Eye who qualify for the program. It was huge, and it had a big dollar amount attached to it, as well as a volunteer force that most groups couldn't take on. Well, luckily, after doing all the research, talking to some of the other communities' programs, and getting a lot of advice, we uh, were lucky enough to be approached by the Modenshaw uh, Fashion Show Group, and they were looking for a group to, or a nonprofit, to donate uh, the profits from their fashion show to. And they really had their hopes on a weekend food program for kids. Um, talking with uh, the local teachers and some of the other community leaders, we figured out this is something that, although another group couldn't take on, the United Way, as a part of our mission, needed to step up to the plate and help make this happen. And people started donating to this project even before it got up and running. But we quickly realized that we needed more help to make this initiative happen for our schools. Um, that is when Christensen Farms came in and we are so lucky to have Amber Portner here. She's the communications director for Christensen mm -hmm. Farms and is one of the key people who uh, have been working with United Way and Project Lunchbox mm -hmm. uh, to make it a reality. So, <laughs> Amber, please tell me a little Hi. bit about yourself and Christian yes, Farms. Yes, well, thank you, first of all, for having me. Um, yeah, so you already mentioned my role, but I've actually been with Christensen Farms for nearly nine years now. Um, my background is in pork production and really Christensen Farms is a pork production company. So um, with that, you know, I think as you talk about, about this program and, and really kind of how it suddenly became apparent of what a great fit it would be for our organization was really stems, I would say, back to our mission and this tagline that we say passion drives our purpose. And so our mission is really all about 
responsibly raising our animals to produce high quality pork to provide food to a growing world, which includes right within our communities and especially those in need. Yeah, that's so. great. And like I said, we as a United Way and any one organization within Brown County really can't do it alone, mm -hmm. but it is so important. One of the things that I learned while um, taking on this project and researching it is mm -hmm. that um, many children who are food sensitive, like in Minnesota, one out of every eight children is food sensitive. And, um, you know, you don't realize how much the lack of food over a weekend can affect children, um, their cognitive learning skills, um, everything from behavioral issues and some learning disabilities um, could be solved just by making sure that children's bellies are full and they're ready to learn. And I know yep. Christensen Farms, they feed people. And so <laughs> it was just such a great partnership um, when uh, we sat down and, and discussed this. Yeah. And uh, you brought in Jody Halla yes. as well yep. and um, really kind of devised a, a partnership plan together. And right. that was great. Yeah. And I, I really look back to, I think it was at, your start with the Brown County United Way. Um, and you were, again, trying to figure out new and, and fun, more creative ideas to be able to get more funds going within the United Way program here in Brown County. And so I just recall at that time, you bringing up this Project Lunchbox idea. And I don't know if you can recall, but I was like, put us on the list, that's a great <laughs> fit for us. And so we were super excited when you came back, what was it, maybe eight months ago, yeah. seven, eight months ago, and said, well, we're making it go, or making a go of it. So from there, um, certainly brought that back to whom you mentioned, Jody Halla, who's our Director of Public Affairs. Um, and then from there, we took it straight to, you know, our CEO, Glenn Stolt, who, I mean, it was a fairly easy sell uh, just because of what a great fit it was um, for we've certainly as an organization have been looking for and communicating with United Way um, even before you joined a year and a half ago Lori and how we can best partner with each other yeah. um, and so we were super excited when this opportunity came along to be a part of it. Yeah well Christensen Farm is pretty well known in, in, in <laughs> Brown County but you guys are a huge corporation and yeah. do uh, have a lot of facilities everywhere and employ quite a few people. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah so um, we actually have locations across five states in the Midwest and so that's really our farms. We have feed mills, um, truck washes, so all the things that goes into literally raising pigs and getting them to our market, which obviously then goes to becoming our pork on our plates, right? So um, we're located, of course, in Minnesota, but also in Iowa, Nebraska, South Dakota, and Illinois. And so our, really where we stem from, though, goes back all the way to 1974 when our late founder, Bob Christensen, as well as his brother, Lynn, received two bred female pigs that we call gilts. Um, they received those from a neighbor farmer and so the story behind that is that this farmer recognized their entrepreneurial spirit um, and really saw their passion for animals as well as just their strong work ethic. And so that, from that day on, they built those two animals up into the, you know, the business the organization, the people and the community we have within Christensen Farms today. Um, I would say across where we are at today, getting back to your question, is really we're at a thousand employees about. And then in addition to that, we, you know, we partner with over 350 other farmers who also help wow. uh, raise our pigs. <laughs> and so just within the Brown County area though, we have around 200 employees, I would say. And so that's on, you know, our local farms, at our corporate office, our truck wash and feed mill, which are located right outside of Sleepy Eye. And, and then, yeah, tons of local farmers as well who bring their grain to our feed mill every year, every day um, that we buy locally to help feed our pigs. Yeah, so. and I, I love that founding story. Yeah. Um, because, you know, and it just really speaks to the importance of, you know, your childhood and yep. your surroundings and having those basic things that you need. Um, and, and those two young men, you know, taking on that entrepreneur yeah. thing and, you know, and there are children right out in Brown County today, who right. knows, they are the next leaders of the next big corporation or they're, you know, your workers at Christensen Farms. Yeah. And if we don't give them a good start, 
provide the things that they need, they won't be able to be the great employees or entrepreneurs of tomorrow. And so I just love hearing that story. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> I mean, and that's just it. We, we look at opportunities like this as it's not just about you know, producing that pork chop for, for any one of us who you know, maybe has the means today to go and purchase that or whatever, um, or for those across the globe that we also you know, sell our pork to. But it's also about those, our youth, who are coming up and are leaders of our communities, the members of our communities, and then yeah. furthermore, our businesses. So. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. Um, so uh, part of the partnership that I want to explain is um, not just a, a financial donation, yeah. although Christensen Farms has been so generous with us, they are going to help um, purchase our food that we need that doesn't get donated. Um, we are uh, going to be taking donations, um, whether it be cash, um, to build up a food fund. But this first year, we really are lucky to be able to start off on the right foot. We know we will have the funding to make this program mm -hmm. successful because of Christensen Farms' ability to help us um, with a financial donation. But it doesn't just in there. Um, they are also <laughs> providing volunteers. So talk a little yeah. bit how that will work. Yeah, so I think how we really look at it and we, we have just excitement within our own organization in the Brown County area for opportunities to volunteer. And so again, when this opportunity came around, it was like, it wasn't just about, you know, how can we help in a monetary way, but how can we get our people involved in something that they will feel passionate about, that they can, and we can all connect back to what our, what our purpose and focus is back at Christensen Farms. And so this is just a great fit and there's certainly um, that excitement around those opportunities that will come up, you know, starting September and into the future to come and volunteer and help pack and, and do all of those things. Yeah, and so there's always gonna be volunteer yeah. opportunities um, with the United Way, but the backpack, uh, excuse me, yeah. the backpack <laughs> program is just one of them. So now Project Lunchbox yeah. can be added to that as well. And uh, this will be throughout the whole school year, pretty much uh, once a week. Yep. And we'll be packing food and delivering them, dropping them off yep. to each of the schools because the program is actually open to all schools in the Newham School District, parochial, charter schools, and of course the public schools. So yes. um, that is something that going forward we hope to continue um, for kindergarten through fourth grade, if not expanding further. So, right. and I know uh, Christensen Farms, are, their uh, management is eager to have it expand if, if at all possible. Yeah, I, that, is, that is a true and fair statement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we are certainly excited to, to see this grow and expand. I think it's starting in the right place, of course, and that's certainly something that sold us was just the, the research you did and the data you found on it. So I think, you know, we're starting in the right place, but certainly want to look to see yeah. it grow and expand to see how we can support some of those other programs happening in the other communities within Brown County too. And I know you guys do a lot of work, um, whether it be volunteering mm -hmm. or helping with other great causes. Yeah. So talk a little bit about the other things yeah. that you guys are involved in. Yeah. So. It's kind of, I think our structure is kind of uh, neat in, in the way that, again, as our organization and business was growing through the leadership of Bob, of course, like any company, you know, more and more people start reaching out yeah. in need of support for whatever it is. And so at that time, Bob really realized he needed to kind of focus in on, on what was important to him and, and then furthermore, what was gonna be important to the company. So that really stemmed into the focus of agricultural education, not yeah. a shocker, <laughs> um, our veterans, mm -hmm. as well as emergency services. And so really community focused and those areas that certainly are impactful to um, not only our business, but the employees within our business and everybody else. And really so, from the top down yeah. and from the yeah. bottom up. Exactly. I, yeah, I love it. It's but, great how you connect with your right. employees. Yeah, and then furthermore, I think the other piece that we've kind of grown into or evolved to in the past five, six years is really taking a look at, again, what's our mission, as well as what's kind of the foundation to our company, which are our social, social responsibilities. And one of those core focuses within that, and there's five of them, is community support. And so as we take a look at how we are feeding our people and, and supporting that, as well as our communities, 
um, that's really where we have kind of look to evolve into the space of how do we help those in need too. And so certainly we love and are excited about this program and, and what you've put together, Lori, and how we can support it. Um, and we certainly have in the last two years spanned out to even doing more food shelf donations across mm -hmm. our communities, across all five states. Mm -hmm. During the holiday seasons, again, wanting to provide meals to those, um, nice meals to those um, in that in that time of year, as well as coming into the spring, early summer season, just for this reason of not having access to nutritious food for, yeah. for our youth and children. A lot of times children during uh, the school year, that uh, meal at school, whether it be you know breakfast and lunch yeah. or just lunch, is the only meal that they get. And yeah. so we want to make sure that they do have some food. And what this really will include or entail is um, in the packages so they'll get it on Friday um, and it will be uh, packaged up by our volunteers and delivered in, in totes to the schools. Um, within each package for the kids they'll have um, two uh, meals that are non-perishable and yep. two snacks that are non-perishable. Um, those meals are um, something that can be easily made by a youngster or maybe an older sibling that could help them, um, or even a parent. And um, those snacks are things that can be eaten right away or maybe even kept in the backpack, you know, when they need it. Right. Um, and it's really, you know, a, a testament to putting this product directly into the hands of those that need it. Mm -hmm. And um, we have our food shelves and they are wonderful about providing those foods. Um, but unfortunately, they have to go there to get it. Right. Where these children who are kindergarten through fourth graders, it's given directly to mm -hmm. them. And uh, families can sign up uh, at their schools. Um, there'll be paperwork going out here uh, very shortly. I know Yay. it's July and no one wants to think about back no. to school, right? No. <laughs> I'm all, I know, I'm always raining on everyone's parade, like the backpack program, we're asking for school splits. Really? Already? Already? Right. Um, but again, you know, it, it's right around the corner. And that if uh, a family qualifies for free reduced lunch, Mm -hmm. they automatically qualify for Project Lunchbox. And they just have to sign their kids up, uh, send the paperwork in. Yeah. And it's something that, you know, even if children are coming in midway in the school year, um, they will get that same paperwork and be able to sign up. Perfect. So just check with your local schools. Like I said, it's in the Newham School District, and mm -hmm. it's going to be for uh, parochial schools, charter schools, and the public school. Um, and we just really want to thank Christensen Farms for doing this. Um, it's super exciting. This is the first time the United Way has partnered with a, an organization, a, a business, to really um, fund one of our in-house programs. Mm -hmm. But we're hoping, you know, we're, we're, we're the template, right? right. We're, we are the aspiration for all you other right. businesses out there because we have a lot of other programs at the United Way and we'd love to have more partners and, you know, if yep. this experience with Christensen Farms uh, tells me anything, it's, it, it's all up from here. Mm -hmm. And it's a wonderful way for you guys to uh, be able to get involved. And we super, yeah. super appreciate it. Well, we are super, super happy to be a part of it and, and just are excited for the opportunities that this will bring. And as well as I think, you know, I thank you, Lori, for bringing ideas, different thoughts and and directions to to bring this organization forward um, to help bridge some gaps and challenges within our communities yeah. to build upon what was already there and strong and well but again growth and evolution are great yeah and collaborative yep. ideas i love it it's yes. the best we always come up with the best yep. plan when you get a big group of people yep. together and exactly nail it out just exactly. figure it out so <laughs> thank you amber so yes. much thank, thank you, you christensen farms uh, for being our project lunchbox um, annual sponsor for this next school year and if you need or would like more information please go to our website www.unitedwaybrowncounty.org um, excuse me unitedwaybrowncountyarea.org it's a long one yes. <laughs> <laughs> or of course you can always stop by uh, we are located on the second level of the historic lind house on center street um, or give us a call, 507-354-6512. You can also um, t 
take a look at all of our other in-house programs um, for, for kids and uh, just, you know, let us know if you have a need and we can help hook you up. Our whole mission is to connect people with resources here in Brown County. So yep. thanks, Amber. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for joining me for Living United. Um, just a few updates on what's going on at the United Way of the Brown County area. Um, we are currently getting ready for back to school with our Stuff the Backpacks uh, program. And uh, that will be taking place here at the New Ulm Public Library in the basement, August 7th, 9.30 to 3.30. But we need you to make sure to sign up for it ahead of time. Applications are due by July 18th. And you can pick those up at the United Way office, um, or you can go to our website and download a copy of that, fill it out and drop it off or mail it back to us. Um, right now, out in the different communities in Brown County, you will see our uh, Stuff the Backpacks donation bins. Please, if you see one of those bins, grab some crayons or some other school supplies. There's a whole list of things that are needed on there. Throw them in there. It'll help us uh, cut down on our costs of purchasing supplies. Last year, we had to purchase over $3,000 worth of supplies um, to fill all the backpacks in um, the schools throughout Brown County. So any donation can help um, make back to school a better experience for all of the kids in Brown County. And another great, exciting, fun thing coming up is our new 2019 campaign. Uh, this year we're calling it our uh, Tropical Key Campaign. And one of the reasons is we have some great prizes that you can win just for learning about how great the United Way is and how your contributions go to do so much good here in Brown County. So if your business would like to set up a presentation any of your employees who uh, set in on a, a United Way campaign presentation will be eligible to get into a free drawing to win a trip for two to Tropical Belize at St. George's Key Resort uh, for five days. Awesome prize. Um, and then we have two other prizes. Hy-Vee is donating a $500 gift card and Christensen Farms is donating a $300 pork package. So whether you're you win the big prize or you're the second one drawn or the third, you're gonna win something really, really great. Um, chances uh, are that you know, you'll learn a lot about the United Way, feel great about a donation if you choose to, and you get entered into a free drawing. So um, if you'd like to set up a presentation, again, you can email us at uh, unitedway uh, at newontel.net. You can go to our website, www.unitedwayofthebrowncountyarea.org, or give us a call, 507-354-6512, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.